My name is Nai and I'm a medical student in the UK. It's exciting how many ways there are to tackle the tedious task of studying. I am going to talk about some of the best ones that I personally recommend. I always begin by listing all the materials that I need to learn. I then learn all the content and focus on understanding the main concepts. I create my notes in the form of flashcards on Quizlet. This method helps me to condense essential information and creating these flashcards throughout the year means I have all my study materials ready when it's time for the exam. This way, when it's exam time, I can focus on actually studying and not gathering all my notes. Now let me show you how easy it is to create a set. So I'm going to create uh, a set for my anatomy uh, folder and I'm going to uh, create an upper limb anatomy set and that's what the title is going to be here, upper limb anatomy. And I'm going to just call, uh, describe it as a set to cover the basics of upper limb anatomy. And uh, so what I'm going to do is, the first term for me is going to be um, what is the longest bone in the upper limb? And if I'm correct, that bone should be the humerus. And I'm going to enter that as a definition. And you see, it, it's already suggested the answer based off the question I've asked, which is something that's really cool that Quizlet can do. And you can also add an image uh, from Quizlet's, uh, you know, um, image bank. And oh, there's a really good image of it there. And I'm going to create a second term uh, being uh, what nerve supplies the pinky finger? The ulna nerve. And I'm going to go on images and there's actually going to be an image of the ulna nerve. Okay, beautiful. Here's a great image of that. And uh, if I'm done, I'm going to click create. So you can actually add this to a folder. I'm going to add it to the... Where's my anatomy folder? Here we are. And here we are. Now we can test out that set we've just made. What is longest bone in the upper limb? On the back of that is our definition and the image we've added. And if I go to the next one, what nerve supplies is the pinky finger? There we go. And that is literally how easy it is to make a flashcard set on Quizlet. The next step heavily involves the process of active recall. Active recall forces your brain to remember and recall information repeatedly, helping you retain that information over a longer period of time. This means I will be far less likely to forget what I've learned. I use flashcards I've made on Quizlet to actively test my recall. Active Recall is known to improve exam performance and I find it far more engaging than passive learning styles like rereading my notes. At this stage, I constantly review my flashcards and I start to build a better understanding of each subject or topic. Learning through flashcards is how I spend most of my study time. Learn Mode enables you to study your material through multiple question types and progress is tracked as you learn. However, Closer to exams, it's important to try out some tests to identify any weaknesses and also to get into the swing of the test style of the exam. I found the practice tests on Quizlet to really challenge my capabilities, which is exactly how I like to prepare for exams. I find it engaging to study collaboratively with friends. Trying out flashcards made by colleagues on the same course helps me identify any points I may have missed in my own set. And at times, a difficult concept can be made easier through an alternate perspective. On Quizlet, you can share resources with friends or you can search and find flashcards created by other people studying similar subjects as you. This makes the learning process a lot more fun and effective. It's important to study smarter and not just harder. I spend a lot of time finding ways to keep my studying process fun, effective and engaging. I recommend taking time to tailor your process to your specific needs. And above all, remember to take breaks.